Autonomous cloning facility. Fully automated, increased population quicker. Produces 1,000 population. Well, okay. That is quicker. Per turn? That seems pretty powerful. All right. But yeah, like I said, I can't stand that I don't actually get to see what the effects are until I've already made the decision, which is non-revocable, non-transferable. What do we got, Council? Let's go with barracks this time. New model design. So we finished up our infantry model design update. Uh, I'm waiting for the quad machine gun. How about we do some motorbike infantry, though? Using the gas powered and really my motorbike infantry doesn't get to wear heavy power armor. <laughs> what? That doesn't seem right and fair. <laughs> I want to see heavy power armor trundling along on a little motorbike. Uh, I don't think I've done much in the way of advancing any of my tanks or my artillery tech. I'm trying to remember, do I even have independence, tanks, tanks, buggies, machine guns. I don't have motorbikes yet at all. All right, we'll still do the motorbike. <clears throat> Understood. <laughs> Oh, hey there, Mendoza. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Do all right. That's it for the reports. Do a bottleneck check. Everything's looking fairly good there. Asset building check. Uh, one turn left on my rail and my biofuel facility for oil production. That's going to eat food, make oil. Same thing. Rail and food. Finish the agriculture upgrade. Farm being built by the private. And finish the agriculture upgrade. But those are just basically going to offset the uh, the the biofuel. All right. <clears throat> Still need to get some more farms down. I gotta or upgraded. I gotta flip that food problem. And we still got a lot of outlay going into our IP. So I'm not gonna build anything this round till that sorts. We'll wait one more turn, then we'll set up some more construction. Um, replacement troops, we did lose, but we're barely ahead on everything. I'll wait again on that. Trade, can we sell raw earth again? Ooh, youch. Price is starting to get fairly depressed. Now we're down below four. I'm going to wait another turn. Metals trashed. Fuel's cheap. Keep buying up fuel. Copy that. Oh, what were radioactives at? For sale? 61. Eh. Alright, so all that stuff's done. Um, you are not quite done securing. Really? <laughs> really? It's going to take me two more turns to finish that? Oh, he is out of supply. Uh, that is a bit ugly. Maybe I'll swap these guys out. Nah. Let him be hungry. That's fine. It's just a militia unit. These guys down. All right, now that they're grouped, we'll move them as a group.
Blitzkrieg! Mm, sure. Need to get this recon buggy down to help out with the surround so I don't have to bring my headquarters unit into the fights. So that'll take care of that part of the problem. Need to get the road extended next turn for supply. Uh, hopefully we can get this guy finished off this next round. You guys sure are slow. You get your supplies caught up. Rare Earth. Ugh, meant to grab that. Alright, so these two are just going to harass and keep this under control until I get another group over here. Which is going to be as soon as they're done. They are going to retask and head back to the west and keep cleaning that up. I think we'll be okay up north now with their, everything getting freed up. I might... Hmm... I need to get another spur of road coming this direction. This one here won't be enough. Hundred and forty. Want it to kind of angle out at that eventually. Yeah, just do the direct route. Okay, done, done. Complete. Not moving you. Complete. What's going on up north? Still just random wandering. Cool. Got it finished. Surprise hot springs and, uh, you know, minor location. Population happiness boost. 1300 free folk. Alright, come on. Pick a zoom. Uh, so I just need to finish that and that. That's going to be a little ugly too. Given the uh, speed I move and the supply restrictions. <laughs> this guy's going to get hungry by the time he gets out of there. I just want to make sure it's done. I'm tired of random stuff, random free folk popping up. Otherwise, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's not spend anything else this round. And let's do, do some strat cards. Uh, nation. Cabinet retreat. Critical success. Another cabinet retreat. Critical success. 15 governor convention critical success and bureaucratic push critical success let's hold off on the war games Oh yeah. Do a gift, try to keep raising leadership skill. Um Who's unhappy? Cameron, seventy-eight. Sure. Copy that. Whoa, barely success. <laughs> Ouch. That'll give a leadership boost. Let's go take a look, see how our, our guy's doing. Our interior counselor, uh, Kenny. How you doing, Kenny? What you been doing with all these XP? Failed attempt to raise agriculture. Raised resist influence. There we go. Raised leadership by seven levels. Failed technician. <laughs> Defensive works. 
God damn it. <laughs> Why? Why? What are you doing that you're interested in raising defensive works or gun tactics? Why are you spending these huge batches of XP on these skills that you are not <laughs> using? What is up with that? I mean, you're an interior council director, man. Why are you getting all these war skills? You're not ever going into the war. That seems weird to me. All right, that's spent a pile. We're good enough. <laughs> Where do I need to pay attention? North has never done anything to me so far. Oh, really? I can go left, right, but you're not going to let me go down? That's as far south as I'm allowed to go? <laughs> no looking at the south of the map for you, Vorm. You're allowed to look everywhere except for south of that point. <laughs> okay. Whatever. <clears throat> Reach our goal, got our barracks. Bike boys complete. Light armor core. Siege infantry army. So we got four machinery. Exciting. Up the wasp hive. Robotic wasps will launch in the direction they are faced. Infantry beware. <laughs> um, don't care. Got all of the uh, different representative bonuses again. Back up to 128, huh? Secret Service Council task. Uh, yeah, I don't really care. I should probably go a little higher on internal security now, I guess. Actually, no, I, I keep forgetting that doesn't affect enemy spy operations. Order eh. received. Leave it alone. Interior Council, you are doing fine. Copy that. Economic research, what are we up to? Good old high-tech industry. We're getting there. I'm going to keep working on some of the earlier ones, though. Yes. Population happiness type stuff. All right, I'm not ready to do another one of those right now. Uh-oh, Alpha Camp again. What is with Alpha Camp? Why are you guys so, so unhappy? I'm not getting any events anywhere else. Am I making money per turn? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, no. <laughs> no, I am burning money per turn is what I'm doing. So, I have no troops to send in. I'm not sure what they expect this to actually do. We can investigate. What kind of roll have we got? 112 plus an average of 50 would be 162. So, we're basically on a coin flip on this one. Or I can just take the 20 unrest. So... Alpha Camp has no negative effects right now, so I could take the unrest. It'd be great if I could get a unit park down there just to, you know, help out to uh, bleed that off over time. I'm tempted to take the roll. Uh, once again, well, see, this is so wildly varying because I have a range of 1 to 100. He has a range of 1 to 200. So, I mean, the flip-flop here could be extreme again. If I roll low and he rolls high, I can just about guarantee a crit fail. This doesn't actually tell you what negative is going to happen, because I don't have troops to send in. 
So I'll probably crit fail this essentially as well. I think the proper answer here is to do nothing and take the 20 unrest, which is then going to cause additional of these events, which is my favorite thing, the, the good old cascade. But uh, I can't risk these two. I hate wildly varying results like this because I'm terrible at the dice rolls usually. So I'm going to say Rock do nothing. That. We're going to take the guaranteed negative that I can have some control over versus the wildly varying results the other ones might offer. Hey, look, we do get more other ones in other places. <laughs> Waste disposal is also going off. This one, 4D40, huh? But we've got an 83. We've got 133 average, so we're we're pretty good on this one. I'm going to take the roll on this one. 76 plus 50, 126 versus a 136. We failed. <laughs> so much for my thinking I had a pretty good chance. Failure, danger increased by 10. And Spies and Vermsect. Oh, I think I was doing the Copy Shining that. Doctrine. <laughs> so what, what is our outlay right now? We are now how far? Uh, treasury. How far negative? We did some forced sales, about 500 in forced sales, so take 500 off of the revenue. So we're about 900 and 1800. So we're still roughly about 1,000 per turn upside down that we're making up with uh, good sales to the traders every few turns. That's at a 30% income tax rate and 25% sales tax rate. I need to get some, uh, I need to talk to the governors and get some cash to the other zones I set up. I forgot to do that. That's terrible. I am a bad overlord. I'm a terrible god emperor. Hey, you. I forgot to give you. Uh, we'll go. I forgot to give you cash. That's why you guys aren't building anything. <laughs> you got no money. My bad. Screwed that up if I was intending on actually growing these places. Uh, yeah, that was a terrible idea. Give you more cash for workers. And everything else is the same. Uh, we'll go. And you. Standing by. Copy that. Copy that. Roger that. Yeah, I really screwed that one up. I've gone, I don't know, 10, 12 turns without uh, any infrastructure upgrades on these cities. All right, track cards done, bottlenecks. We haven't done another infrastructure upgrade recently. Uh, resources are starting to look better because we finished most of the build orders that I set up. Finished, finished. So our railheads and our biofuel will be coming in. And our food finished up. Cool. All right, so time to plan out our next big upgrades. First one is get the rail actually completed between these two locations. So let's uh, let's get that queued up. Let's go. I'm gonna follow the major road route all the way down. 120 and 240. Okay, there we go. 500 IP left, and we've got a railroad as well as rail stations at each end. So that's going to help out tremendously. We'll do uh, spurs definitely down this way. I'm debating whether I want to send one out that way.
We'll run him down to camp on Alpha Camp for a few turns. Not moving. Uh, how far forward can I get these guys? Still can't quite put a surround on him. There we go. Alright, so he'll be dead next round. That'll free these guys up. I'll leave the recon over here to start taking this territory as we extend the road down and send the rest of the army group back to the west with those two assisting with coverage. I think we'll have that all under control. This round has finished this guy off from this side primarily. 18 to 1. Let's take 18 to 1. Advancing. Easy. Next, let's get you up to there. Let's see. Which which group am I actually worried about? I got this group coming south. I think I'll leave these guys to the north because cementing the border against him is going to be more important. I'll bring this group down to deal with these guys. Via probably this road. How much... Uh, how many points do I have? 300. Hmm... I don't think I'm going to get the whole group there. Nope. Alright. Well, we got a couple of units there. The rest of you guys just keep on... Keep on running. So. We will focus you guys up here. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> Lazard tanks with Techno Mage attachment. So, done, done. Oh, yeah. Let's go get the hungry guy. Ah, again, one space. He's actually probably going to die before he gets back in uh, supply if I don't build a road network up there. I really don't want to. <laughs> 160 IP, huh? Yeah, go ahead. We'll we'll connect it into this other road network up here eventually. That'll hopefully get enough points pushed forward to keep him supplied. You far can you get? Go this way first. Yeah, it's gonna take him several turns as well. Done, done. I think we're done everywhere. Oh, yeah, not quite. Three seventy three, we'll have to take it. Metal can't be uh, metal. Ooh, metal can be sold. 186 for a thousand. Copy Sounds that. Good. Fuel at 0.35. Fuel price keeps going down. Copy I'll, that. I'll keep buying it for now. And done there. We're still positive on replacement troops. Still good on bullets.
Copy that. Oh, we failed the crit success by five. Copy that. Crit success. So we're now at plus 107, difficulty 100. <laughs> so the 50 50 crit, 43% uh, crit, crit success chance. Or no, 50, uh, 57. Uh, what else? Governor convention, we're at 96. Let's do another bureaucratic. Let's keep Copy doing that. bureaucratic pushes. Let's just roll out just a raging amount of BP points next round. How are we doing here? We're up to plus 93. Uh, it's getting close. It's getting close. If I could get him to raise that leadership a little more. One more good batch, like 7, 10 points. I think we'd be in range where I might actually risk this Mission Impossible finally. Copy that. And I want to do the bonus again. Keep getting this guy to hopefully raise his... Copy that. Oh, barely made it again. I think the, even the limited rail network we've got in is going to help quite a bit. That'll ensure a nice fat pipeline between the north and south major cities, which will free up points for uh, the secondary road networks. Hey, I can look south now. <laughs> I need to get my unit upgrades done. That'll make these free folk fights even easier. I can bring even less to bear. Uh-oh. Once again, invisible units <laughs> taking my territory. Vidcom done, quad machine gun done. Time for some more unit upgrades. Heavy machine gun infantry army. Attack level, fate pack. Ooh, science outpost. I see you there all of a sudden. Um, <laughs> so he shuffled around a bit. Not sure I can get south fast enough. Decision time. Budgets. I'm happy with the budget. Yes, sir. Not worried about that. Let's go for... Mining techniques. Yeah. And electric engine. Uh, hmm. So advanced Roger sensors. That. Okay. Um, Understood. Slave trader in Tourges. My secondary, my second city. Sell 2,000 pop for credits. Absolutely not. 
buy 2,000 pop. Absolutely not. Enforce tax payment from this slave trader. Uh... Hmm. Or get rid of him. Unfortunately, we don't have a great chance there. 70 average versus a difficulty 86 average. Harry, Pete Void, the governor's making this roll, and he just doesn't have a good chance against this, huh? A covert ops roll. Ouch. He's having to make a covert ops roll? I have no chance of doing this. Difficulty 200. Can't even reach it remotely. Hmm. I think I, I might take the buy population option. Normally I wouldn't, but um, very slight hits. And uh, we gain population. I can afford the credits. And very light change here. I just don't like their chances on the other stuff. Acknowledged. Confirming orders. Getting blackmailed again by that little tiny guy? <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, how big is he now? Is he still at his two territories or two two? I can't even pick him anymore. <laughs> He's blackmailing me from where? Uh, I can't even select him on my map. <laughs> it looks like this guy finally consolidated and took those last few. So apparently, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a government in exile <laughs> on an island somewhere uh, that has decided to send me blackmail demands. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, we'll probably take the yes, double the tribute. <laughs> 360 whole bucks this time. Uh, actually, I gotta be careful of that, so... Yeah, that's that's pretty harmless. That's that harmless one again. <laughs> Bring on the bribes! <laughs> or the blackmail attempts. Uh, that's funny. Government in exile. Coming to get me. All right, decisions done. Let's do our normal double check. Bottlenecks looking pretty good, except for that. Uh, only 600 there, 900. He got his supplies. He didn't get any, but he'll get out of there fairly quickly. And supplies everywhere else. All right, I got nothing queued up. Nothing queued up. All right, all of our construction is done. Cool. So, 741, 851. Actually gaining oil, gaining food. And that's after I've got the, um, the biofuel refineries going. So, that's good. Nope, not doing any of that. I'm going to hold off on buying oil for now. No trading to worry about. We've got 10,000. We're getting next round. I think I'll be able to buy, a, get a raise up that next force at full strength. All right, so up north, not... Well, I'm a little worried about that. That's a fairly fairly beefy group up there. So yeah, I need to raise that force, run them north, and start taking this. He's keeps creeping over. I can't let him... I would ideally not like to let him creep that far. But we'll have to do something about that sooner rather than later. I could raise the force now. Let's do that. Let's get the force up. Raise formation. Ah, oh, so many choices. With HQ. Light Armor Brigade. But I want the Motorized Machine Gun Infantry Brigade. The big one. 92. Full strength woo. <laughs> Full strength woo. <laughs> let's um let's raise this one up. All right, so that's going to head north, finally start taking on these guys and try to get this terrain before he comes all the way over and gets me, you know, 
Well, he's encircled. He's already ridiculously large. And he's just going to get ridiculously larger. Man, this, all, all three of these guys are just going to be a nightmare. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's finish these up. Might have to dip him down to get supplied, then run up and finish that last little tiny spot. Alright, so you are running south. You're going to help out the second group. Well, one of them, regardless. All right, so that's going to be a group. We'll hit that, and these two will kind of link up and just start sweeping down and cleaning things out. I'm tempted to have this group do the same. Worry about these guys later. I got the same problem over here, though. I'd rather not just cede all the territory to him. He's got a full army down there. So it might happen regardless. Nobody else can really impact over here, so I think the better better thing is to uh, do what I was originally planning. There should be plenty. Damn it! have the recon buggy do its thing taking territory and advancing the road we'll have everybody else roll back to the west get that finished up I think I'll get out ahead of them, and uh, the buggy will be able to come down and keep in front of him, I think. Unless he like comes directly at my resor restored resort. He's staying in place, and can't move them, not moving them. You, I was bringing down to there. Terrible terrain to defend in up here, <laughs> meaning no terrain. Alright, so we're done with all that. Let's, um... Rail network is in place. I'd need to get rail stations built before more railroad is going to have any effects. I'd like to get the rail network extended to there. I'm just a little dubious about putting it out to here even though this is going to be my major front line. I think I'm going to hold off on any more of that for the moment. If anything, it's a few more sealed roads completing. And then, oh crap, I keep forgetting this stuff. Construct! Uh, no. Mining. Uh, Recycling no. facility. And then uh, there was another one that popped up. <laughs> Construct. Mining. Recycling facility. Copy that. That'll get uh, two more artifact sites going. Should have gotten more of these things going much, much earlier. We're out of IP. Strat cards. Nation. Um... Copy that. Copy that. Copy that. Have a boatload of points. And also do... Uh-oh. I don't have my... 
up oh, there it is. Special gift. Uh, who are we going to target? Man, I can't keep Boba happy. <laughs> Boba is just... I keep giving him money. He just doesn't want to be happy. What is your major deal, Boba? Why are you so unhappy? Uh, salary effect, modified... Leader. Oh, it's a regime profile mismatch. Fist and militia. Meritocracy, yeah. He's never... Oh, that's the, the Republican night guy I keep pissing off. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, man. I, I didn't realize that's who was uh, in command of my, my major city. <laughs> I gotta stop pissing him off. <laughs> that's why it's going down so often. I definitely don't want to replace him now with all these skills he's built up. Alright. Sorry, Boba. I'll try to be more accommodating to your goofy faction. Stop picking on you. Let's uh, let's pick somebody else since I know why he's unhappy. Look at all these hundreds. Ah, so many hundreds. <laughs> Everybody's super happy. I guess we'll do uh, Governor of Military Vessel. Copy that. Critical success. Yay. Good old Wasp Hive. We had some more uh, some more zoo projects to hand out. Sure, here you're good. Uh, we'll go. And you also. Copy that. All right, what are we gonna do here? <clears throat> hmm. I can actually circle him. So he is now officially cut off. So I can attack him. Those two. Advancing. He's now eliminated, and I've further cemented the border. I can bring you guys over. Let's see. I think we'll just go like that. Not try to push too far. We should be able to pretty easily leapfrog and keep uh, taking territory. Make sure we keep extending the road for supply. Undone. Not moving. I think that's everybody, right? Did I forget anybody? These guys just got raised. Can't move them yet. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, depends on the card. All the ones I have currently are combat cards and I don't need them to be added to any units currently. I'd rather hold them because they're free use whenever I want to use them. They don't have any cost associated and they instantly get applied. So I'm going to hold them until I get into a quote unquote real fight. And then I'll start dropping them into critical locations as needed. Right now, just dropping them on random units that could be who knows where when a real fight develops isn't really going to be helpful for me. Only thing I'm fighting is the free folk and those are all easy overruns at this point. So there's no real benefit for me to uh, to be adding all the specialized stuff to them. I'd rather just keep it in reserve for when one of the majors decides to kick things off or if I'm forced to go after a major just to prevent him from achieving a victory. Which reminds me, i got to go check the victory thing again. I think the uh, the big problem is just going to be the map. I just 
my choices are either start a suicidal war against a major that outnumbers me in military troops about 15 to 1, or let that guy just continuously expand into empty territory until he achieves victory. That that seems to be my two choices that I'm I'm looking at right now. Came after me, did ya? Yeah, good luck with that. At least the 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 free folk I've got near me at this point are all the slow ones. So, nuclear plant, Gauss small arms. Finished developing the Forling. And more anti-grav lifter. <laughs> Got all my retreats and leadership bonuses again. So, they do keep shuffling around in, in annoying ways. <laughs> this didn't move anywhere I'm worried about, so we're good there. No movement to worry about. Need to get him supplied and then go get that last space. No hurry on that. No attack there. So let's go look at that victory report. Victory overview. So I'm still sitting in fourth because the other guys are basically eliminated. Or there were six total? So yeah, two of them must have been eliminated. This one I know is the one that got eaten adjacent to me. That one I never saw or... or Maybe I maybe I haven't found him yet. He might still be in the game, but I suspect he's dead. So it's just the four of us. Um, I'm in last place, essentially. And, uh, I mean, huge populace advantage. Twice, literally twice my populace. Coming up on twice my total victory score, because I'm only at 8% planet. That huge populace must be what's giving him the bonus. So Wormland and Oleron Pax... Problem being that is uh, Wormland. Or no, that's Worm Sect. That up there is Wormland. So Wormland and uh, Oleron Pax. And each of them has access to unlimited growth. This is likely the only thing left that I might be able to get to. But I think he might cut me off before I can get up there. But that's just going to... This guy's already taken to the point where I was hoping to get to. Uh, get out of there. So originally my idea was to head north, but now the major's already to that point, so there's not really much point to me going north anymore. There used to be a miner up here, but he got eaten. So yeah, I think it's going to come down to uh, me just declaring a suicidal fight. <laughs> um... Is we're, us four are the only ones left, and this guy and this guy have a huge amount of world that they can expand to at their own pace. So he's already, as you can see, branching down to take out this area, and this guy can come across to this whole area. Maybe he'll put some pressure over here as well, but um, I'm stuck in between them. There's just no way I don't think I'm going to be able to successfully fight off any of these guys. I was hoping to do vertical integration and uh, get a tech advantage in that, but I'm not appearing to, to maintain that either. I mean, some of these guys have 15 infantry groups out. I've got four, I think, now. No, oh, he's up to 17. 16, 14, 13. He could have even more. I, I don't know exactly how many he's got, but 17 is the largest headquarters number I see. So, four to five times my number of uh, brig brigade groups out there. Not sure how he's doing on his upgrades. He's up to Fusiliers 4, which is uh, heavy combat armor, which is what I'm just now finishing up and trying to upgrade into. I think we have a small... That's actually a higher firepower than mine. I've just got a benefit in ammo capacity. So, I have no, no, no advantage over their groups at all currently. I have no tanks out. So yeah, I, I think I'm just going to get rolled <laughs> if I declare a fight against one of these big guys. And I definitely don't have the infrastructure to uh, to raise up 10 more army groups and uh, keep them supplied. So, that's the situation. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to hit uh, save game. We're up to uh, V4. Save. 
And that's it for me for now. So we're coming up on the end of my time I've got for this block. I'm going to quit out of here. So thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. I'll be back uh, in uh, two hours for some Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And then I'll be streaming again tomorrow. So Monday through Friday. My current schedule is 10 to 2. And then 4 to 8. So two four-hour blocks each day. Um, hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.